And uh, if you're immature like me, you can scare people with it too. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Today's video is more for the singist. I am a singist and a guitar player as well, and I'm going to be looking at one of my favourite pedals, and that is the TC Helicon Harmony Singer. I've been using this pedal for about six years, and it's never let me down. Build quality is superb. Uh, some reviews people are moaning about the plastic parts, but I have not had a problem with it, and I do a lot of gig. Well, I did a lot of gigs. I mainly use it in my solo acoustic performances to fill out the sound, but I've also used it in a band as well, and I've even used it in a band where two of us have been singing, and we've had one each. And no, it's not cheating. You still have to sing in tune, it doesn't pitch correct or anything like that, but it does have some great features. As well as the harmonies, it also has a built-in compressor and its own reverb as well. It has a ground lift and a, and a mic boost, but I'll go through the whole thing right now so you can check it out. Okay, so looking at the top, it is a metal box uh, with plastic knobs, a metal switch. It's build quality is good. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so the far left knob, the white one there, you've got all the harmonies. So you can choose from a third above, which is what I usually have it on, a fifth above. You can have third, fifth above. You can have a third below. You can have third, fifth below. You can have third, fifth below. You can have fifth below, fifth above. And you can have third below, third above. Uh, lots of variations in harmonies there. The middle one is the level, so that's how loud the harmony is going to come through. And then on the right there, you have the reverb. So you've got like a room reverb, and you can dial them in um, to be like kind of subtle to like quite reverby. Uh, and then you've got club and hall reverb. And uh, there's the tone knob there just under the reverb. That That's the compressor, which is really, really nice. That really brings it all out. Uh, and then you've got the switch and the LED light to tell you that it's on, of course. So looking at the back, you've got your mic in and your mic out, your power uh, input, and there's a USB as well. You can download some apps apparently, and uh, they've done some updates over the years on the uh, software in there or whatever. I don't really ever use it. I have done uh, the recent update on it, but apart from that, I don't use the USB. And looking at the left side, you've got your mic gain and your instrument out um, and the ground lift switch, which is really handy. And on the right side, you've got the instrument in and a mic control switch, uh, which allows you to, uh, if you've got the right microphone for this this pedal links in the description to the website and all that anyway where you can uh, check out those extras uh, you can turn it on and off with a switch on the microphone right if you're wondering how it works it works like any other stomp box guitar goes in guitar out and that goes to your amp or your PA wherever wherever you're plugging in and then you have your mic in mic out and that will go to your PA as well and um, how it works is when you sing into it your DNA travels down the mic lead and into the box and there's lots of little fairies in there and they make clones of you and they all sing in harmony. Just kidding, not really, but it's a nice thought, isn't it? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to rig this up and I'm going to take you through some of the settings and you can hear what it sounds like for yourself. How it does work, in fact, is that it takes the uh, pitch from the guitar. So you need to be playing good, solid uh, open chords or bar chords and then when you sing into it it takes that and pitches it as far as I know I think all right so I've got it set up how I would have it that's the reverb yeah it's quite nice so without any guitar plugged in it sounds like this yeah it does actually mostly harmonize okay without a guitar in yeah! So that's a third above. So I'm just going to do a little ditty. This one's called Easy. It's one of mine, actually.
It's not hard for me to hate you after all you've done It's not hard for me to hate you in your spiteful tongue It makes me wonder how you've lived this long And as I walk away, I'll show you a number one You make it easy You make it easy You make it easy To hate you Alright, so that's how I normally have it For me, just a simple third above And that's a good sound for me um, So I've killed the reverb I'm going to uh, try the other harmony settings for you. I don't normally mess with any of these, but we're going to go through them so you can hear them all. No backing track this time, or no loop this time. Uh, just the guitar, dry, and the vocal harmonizer dry with the harmony. Uh, so the next one is fifth above. You make it easy. You make it easy. You make it easy. To hate you. Right, let's go to the next one. Third and fifth above. You make it easy. You make it easy. You make it easy. To hate you. All right, next one is third above, third below. You make it easy You make it easy You make it easy To hate you Right now we're going for fifth above, fifth below You make it easy You make it easy You make it easy to hate you Third and fifth below You make it easy You make it easy You make it easy To hate you Alright, next is fifth above, fifth below You make it easy you make it easy You make it easy To hate you And lastly is third below, fifth above You make it easy You make it easy You make it easy To hate you I'm just going to point out at this stage, I don't hate you, I love you all, and I will love you even more if you just hit that subscribe button, because it helps me out in a big way. So there is definitely some good harmonies going on there, the sound isn't too bad, some more usable than others, like I say, I only usually stick it on a third above, sometimes I might do the third and fifth, depending on the song, mostly third above, that's uh, usually good enough for me. Alright, so what about those reverbs, let's have a look at those quickly, uh, you have room reverb, Bit of room, bit of room reverb, there. You make it easy. You make it easy to love you. And that can go up to that, that's on full. And then we have a bit of club reverb. Yo, yo. Like that. You make it easy to love you. And where I normally have it, about here, depending on the room. You make it easy. You make it easy to love you. This is the hall reverb. Hall. It's long. You make it easy to love you. And we'll whack her right up. You make it easy You make it easy 
to love you. So there it is, a very, very simple pedal to use. I really dig it, I've been using it for a long time now. Um, it's really, really good for the acoustic stuff because when I'm looping and I'm doing percussion and stuff and then I've got a nice vocal harmony going on, it just makes the whole thing sound big and rich and cool. Um, the compressor on it is really, really nice and the reverb is really, really nice, much better than the reverb that's on my PA system uh, and even on my Cube EX, to be honest. Um, so this, even if you don't use it as a vocal harmonizer, it's really good as like a vocal enhancer with its compressor and the reverb and stuff. There is a version two of this pedal now. Uh, I don't know much about it. I do know that it does take a battery, the second one. This one doesn't take a battery, which is a real shame because I can't take it busking. I could uh, buy a, a battery pack thing to go on it, but I haven't done that. Um, but I know the second one does take batteries as well as the main power. Um, links in the description to where you can find these. They're about £129, I think, on Toman. Varies on different places. Um, but highly recommend it if you're a singer, for sure. Um, do you need to play an instrument as well? Yes, you probably do because it does pitch off of the guitar. I, I have seen people use them with keyboards as well. Anyway, so I hope you liked this kind of video and that it was helpful for you. Um, please do like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out in a big way trying to grow the channel, especially in this lockdown period. Don't forget to come and visit us on Thursday night, 7 o'clock, for Hutch Club, where we are writing songs and we talk about guitars and all kinds of nonsense. It's a growing community. community if you say doing quite well also a lot of the people that come to the hutch club are on the discord so do come and uh, join us on discord where you can meet a lot of the gangs there's some really cool people on there some very knowledgeable people on there as well also please check out my charity guitars for all where we give guitars to people in need um, and we are always after broken guitars and parts and stuff so that we can build some usable instruments that we can donate it's always very welcome and I don't think there's much more left to say, except peace until next time. Cue the jingle, where I didn't use this pill, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe. Never miss an episode of my YouTube show. <laughs> Peace. Till next time.